Okay, logarithmic <laughs> functions, finding the inverse. Uh, I just I did the first part video, and I just decided I was just going to do a little bit of a, a short marathon and just do a bunch of problems and see how it makes sense to you. So in the first video, if you didn't watch it, we go over how to find inverses in general and what does that mean. And I actually showed you a bunch of them on a calculator to make sure that um, the algebra and the graph kind of uh, fit together. So I'm hoping that worked out good. If, if you didn't watch that, maybe you want to go back and, and watch that one. But um, let's just go through a bunch of them. So let's try to find the inverse here. So find the inverse. So this one's pretty straightforward. y equals log base 9 of x. Uh, keeping in mind, right, how this might work, that we can switch this into exponential form, which is what we're going to do here, switch this to exponential form. If we do that, it would be 9 to the power of y is equal to x, isn't it? So that's what I'm going to rewrite. 9 to the power of, nine to the power of, nine of y is equal to x. Um, Different teachers teach it different ways. Some teachers say that you should switch X and Y at the very beginning. I don't think that it matters. I don't do it that way. I do it this way. So now I'm going to do my switch. So switch X and Y. And if you remember, that's what it means, isn't it? That's what it means to take an inverse, that you take the domain and the range of the function and you switch them. So we have 9 to the power of X is equal to y. All right, so that one wasn't too bad. Let's do another one. Let's do another. So how about this one? Y, right, find the inverse. I'm not going to keep writing. You know what we're doing here, finding the inverse, right? So y equals ln of x minus 1. And we've got to keep in mind that ln of x can be converted to Sorry, to log base e of x, where this is, and also keeping in mind, please, this e right here is a number. It's Euler's number. It's 2.71 something, 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 but this is not a variable. This is a number, right? So I'm going to just take that. I'm going to rewrite this. Y is equal to log base e of x minus 1, and then I'm going to take this again out of logarithmic form into exponential form, so it's this, right? So we get e to the power of y is equal to x minus 1. Remember, we have to, when we're taking the inverse, we're going to solve for x, so we're going to add positive 1 to both sides, and we're going to get e to the power of y plus 1 is equal to x. Right, and now again, at the end, this is how I do it. I'm going to switch x and y to find the inverse. Switch x and y. And we get y is equal to e to the x plus 1. So this is f of x here, and this is the inverse of f of x. All right? And there are ways to test that. That's not what we're proving today, though, so we're not going to. Let's do another one. This one is actually not really difficult, but it's, it's, it's good to look at, so let's take a look at it. And this one suggests to us that we have y equals log base 7 of 49 to the power of x. Now here what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to look at this differently for a second. If you don't mind, I'm going to say y is equal to log base 7 of 7 squared. And there's the x. So this, sorry, this, right here, this 7 squared is that 49. Is that okay? So that gives us something to look at, doesn't it? And you're going to see what happens in a second. It's going to get really easy. I'm going to take this out of exponential form. I'm sorry, out of logarithmic form into exponential form. So we would have 7 to the y power. So 7 to the y power is equal to 7 squared x. And because we have same bases here, what our problem turns out to be is just this one right here. y equals 2x. So that's all we have to solve now. That's all we have to solve now is this one. So we have y is equal to 2x, x is equal to y over oh, y over 2, and, the, and right finally we switched the x and y, don't we? So we have y equals 
x over 2. And this is our inverse. And this is our function. Okay. Um, well, we're at five minutes. So let's try to do just a couple more, okay? All right. Let's do this one now. Uh, how about this? So find the inverse of this. y equals log base 5 of x. So here's the thing I want to talk about really quick while we're here. This log and this x are on the same height level, and this is the base. Some people get confused and they're like, is this 5 to the x power? It is not 5 to the x power. That was never its intended meaning. So this is log base 5 of x. What are we going to do first? Exactly. We're going to turn this into, we're going to turn this into exponential form. So we have 5 to the y is equal to x. And then this is a really quick one, isn't it? So y equals 5 to the x. What do we do here? We just switch the x and the y, don't we? That's our last step. And again, if your teacher is saying, hey, switch the x and the y at the beginning, okay. You're the boss. You're the boss. Let's do another one. Here we go. How are we doing for time? How are we doing for time? Let's take a look. We're at six minutes, so let's just go just a little bit longer so I can give you kind of some more examples to look at. This is one that I think might be a little bit more interesting to you. Y is equal to ln of x minus 2 Now the other one was ln of x minus 1. This one is just too much the same, isn't it? Um, you know what? How about you tell me? If you're not sure how I get this answer, go back and look at the last example. But this one is just too easy for you. So we're going to get y equals e to the x plus 2. Can you see that from here? Can you see how that might? And if you can't, go up to the previous problem, the previous ln problem, and see if that doesn't make sense. And I'm really not suggesting to you that you should um, kind of do mental math on your way through this too much, but that one looks so similar to the last one. Here's our last one. It's real simple. Y equals ln of 6x. I'm going to rewrite this. Y equals log base e of 6x. Log base e of 6x. Uh, oh my god, this one's really going to be quick, isn't it? So we're going to take this, going to go from logarithmic form to exponential form. So it's e, this e, to the power of y is equal to 6x. Two more quick steps. Divide both sides by 6. Get e to the power of y is e uh, over 6 is equal to x. Lastly, switch the x and y and get e to the x over 6 is equal to y. Where this is the... I almost said derivative. This is not a derivative. This is an inverse where this is the inverse of f of x. And this, my friends, is f of x. Excellent work. We're done, buddy.